Lecture 2.4, Rates of Change and Tangent Lines. This is Devil's Tower in Wyoming. To give you a sense of scale, these trees are full-size trees, full-size pine trees. And if you were see, to see a climber up here, they'd be about the size of this dot. This was featured in a movie called Close Encounters of the Third Kind, uh, but no, there is no alien landing site at the top. The slope of a line is given by m equals delta y over delta x. Rise over run. Consider the function f of x equals x squared. The slope at 1, 1 can be approximated by the slope of the secant through 4, 16. Delta y over delta x is 16 minus 1 over 4 minus 1, which is 15 thirds or 5. This gives us the approximate slope at this point, but it's not a very good approximation because as we can see, the slope of the red line is not very close to the slope of the curve at that point. We could get a better approximation if we move the point closer to one, one, for example, three, nine. Now the slope, delta y over delta x, is 9 minus 1 over 3 minus 1, or 8 halves, or 4. Even better would be the point 2, 4. The slope is 4 minus 1 over 2 minus 1, or 3 over 1, or 3. So we see as we move the point closer to 1, 1, our approximation for the slope looks like it might be getting better. If we got really close to 1, 1, say 1.1, 1 1.21, .1, the approximation would get better still. Delta y over delta x equals 1.21 minus 1 over 1.1 minus 1, which is 0.21 over 0.1, or 2.1. How far can we go? If we zoom in a little in our imagination, we see that we have the point 1, 1, and we can move over a distance h. and find a new y value, f of 1 plus h. The slope is delta y over delta x, which is f of 1 plus h minus f of 1 over h. That's the change in y over the change in x. The slope at 1, 1 then is the limit as h approaches 0 of 1 plus h squared minus 1 all over h. If we expand 1 plus h squared, we get the limit as h goes to 0 of 1 plus 2h plus h squared minus 1 all over h. The 1's cancel out. And we can factor out an h in the numerator, 
So we have the limit as h goes to 0 of h times 2 plus h all over h. And we can cancel an h. Now as h goes to 0, what we have left is 2. The slope of the curve y equals f of x at the point p a f of a is m equals the limit as h goes to 0 f of a plus h minus f of a over h. Notice in the example problem, we didn't find the approximate slope, we found the exact slope. The expression f of a plus h minus f of a over h is called the difference quotient of f at a. Mathematicians, not being very original, didn't give it a very original name. There's a subtraction or a difference and a division or a quotient, hence the name difference quotient. If you are asked to find the slope using the definition or using the difference quotient, this is the technique you will use. The slope of a curve at a point is the same as the slope of the tangent line at that point. In the previous example, the tangent line could be found using the point slope form of a linear equation, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. If you want the normal line, use the opposite sign reciprocal of the slope, in this case, negative one half. The normal line is perpendicular to the tangent. Example four, let f of x equal one over x. Find the slope at x equals a. So m equals the limit as h goes to zero of f of a plus h minus f of a over h. In this case, since f of x is 1 over x, f of a plus h would be 1 over a plus h, and f of a would be 1 over a. So we have the limit as h goes to 0 of 1 over a plus h minus 1 over a all over h. Now we multiply by the common denominator of the little fractions to clear the fractions. We can cancel an a plus h and an a, and we get the limit as h goes to 0 of 1 over h times a minus a plus h over a times a plus h. We clear the parentheses in the numerator and get the limit as h goes to 0 of a minus a minus h over h times a times a plus h. Cancel the a's in the numerator. Cancel an h. As h goes to 0, we get negative 1 over a squared. On the TI-89, we can take the limit of 1 divided by a plus h minus 1 over a, all in parentheses, divided by h as h goes to 0. Limit is F3 calculus. Note, if it says find the limit on a test, you must show your work. Still, it's nice to know that the TI-89 will find limits. What we found in this problem, by the way, was a general expression for the slope at any point. Where is the slope negative 1 fourth? If we set negative 1 fourth equals negative 1 over a squared, 
we get a squared equals 4, or a equals plus or minus 2. What are the tangent line equations when x equals 2 and x equals negative 2? At x equals 2, y is 1 half. We get that by putting it into the original equation. And we use the point-slope equation. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Or y minus 1 half equals negative 1 fourth x minus 2. And we simplify that to get y equals negative 1 fourth x plus 1. We do the same thing at x equals negative 2. We find y and use the point-slope equation. Fill in our values. And solve for y and simplify it. So we get y equals negative 1 fourth x minus 1. Graph the curve and the tangents in the TI-89. Press diamond y equals y equals 1 over x. Diamond window and set up our window so x goes from negative 6 to 6, y goes from negative 3 to 3, and the x and y scales are both 1. Then press diamond graph. There's our graph. We can let the calculator plot the tangents. We press F5 math. Scroll down and select A tangent and press enter. And then two, enter. It draws the tangent line at x equals two. It gives us the tangent equation. We repeat the process for x equals negative two and it draws a second tangent line at x equals negative 2. Review. The average slope is delta y over delta x. The slope at a point, we use the difference quotient m equals the limit as h goes to 0 of f of a plus h minus f of a over h. These are often mixed up by calculus students, especially on the first test. Average velocity v average equals total distance over total time instantaneous velocity if f of t is the position function then v equals the limit as h goes to zero of f of t plus h minus f of t over h these are often mixed up also when I said the first test, I meant the first test on this material. It may or may not be your first test. In general, velocity equals slope. You find velocity and find slope the same way.